Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Castle in the Darkness. Let's torture ourselves, but not really. We may actually end up doing that because this might be a really tough area. Oh wow. The blood fell on me, made me jump from the damage, and then I hit the spikes. That's. You know, I was actually expecting those guys to, like, not die. Because, you know, I was, I was thinking they'd be, like, red skeletons from Castlevania or something, and what the heck did that do? Nothing visible. Unless it opens something over here that I wasn't paying attention to. But, you know, those saws make me think of Meat Boy. definitely going to be a platforming area. Technically everything's a platforming section in this game, I think, but... Oh, I almost thought I wasn't going to make that. So, is there, like, no point going down there? What was the point of doing that? Oh, hey, they're instant death. I was curious. I wanted to find out. Actually, I noticed what that did. Oh, okay. I noticed it brought up spikes around that one down there, but... I was thinking maybe he had something of value, but apparently not. Oh. Alright, well, I don't know if there's any point to hitting that switch, but... Well, actually, you know what? There probably is. I mean, there's got to be some reason it's there. Or, actually, probably not, because it resets. I, I was thinking it might stay down permanently, but since it resets, there's probably nothing to it. to the X-Sword, but we'll probably get to have it back here soon. Oh, that was bad. That was very bad. something else, so I should probably keep him until the next save point. <sighs> I should not be dying to that. <laughs> there. Ooh, that was close. Alright. Oh, oh right, you can go inside those things. <laughs> I expected spikes to shoot out of it and kill me, but I guess that's not what happens. Why does this thing make me think of Binding of Isaac? It's like, it's like, it's like something... I don't know, it, for some reason it makes me think Binding of Isaac, but it's probably a... It might be like a Castlevania reference. Oh, it's getting fast. I 
It reminds me a little bit of death from Harmony of Dissonance. Just a little bit, though. Okay, there we go. Alrighty then, it's over here. Oh, goody. Why do I keep thinking the X sword is a weapon? Probably because it's a sword. Alright, let's see what else this place has to offer. Yeah, this place makes me, you know, this place kind of makes me think of a mix between Cave Story and Super Meat Boy. The saws for Super Meat Boy, and I don't know, it's just this general area. For some reason it feels like something out of Super um, from Cave Story to me. Like, it, it kind of has a Sacred Grounds vibe to it. You're ugly. Oh, wait. Wait, really? That is so cheap. <laughs> I can just do this. Oh, hey, drop something. Well, that's obviously a lightning magic. I didn't really mean- I just probably shouldn't have equipped it. I thought I'll be able to... Oh. That was dumb. I really hope that wasn't like a rare drop item and I'm gonna have to kill that thing like 20 or 30 times now to get it again. It probably is, isn't it? Can I just do this? Ha! Oh, okay, maybe it's not. Oh wait, I have to hit that switch. Well, that's no big deal, really. something that I could use to just immediately go, ah, uh, just immediately go back to, like, a, the last save point you visited or something. It'd be really, really handy for getting out of those areas. You know, I'm not looking forward to when I have to come back through there, because... 
I just feel like as soon as I come back through that door, those spikes are, I mean, those saws are just gonna get me. Unless they go away, maybe they do. That was close. Alright. Oh. Okay. That's fine. You're not, you're not gonna, okay. So you're not gonna spit fire again? version of Legion, then. And I'm pretty sure this is the easiest Legion I have ever fought. <laughs> Though, this X-Sword just breaks everything. Well then. Oh, wait, we're still not done? Will you go down? Thank you. Okay, we're done. Oh! Why in the world is that cabin key all the way down in a place like this? I cannot even imagine why. There must be something good in there. You know, I love how smoothly all of this is playing out, though. This is great. I, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go see if I can do something with that lightning bolt portrait in the castle entrance, and also I'm gonna go see what's in the cabin. And I think that will be good for this video. So yeah, um, see you guys back at that portrait thing. Alright, let's see if this does anything. Oh. That's it? Huh. I was expecting something a lot bigger than that, but oh well. Also, uh, I should probably explore the rest of the castle entrance for now, at least up to the uh, up to the warp statue. All right then. Let's go. By the way, was that the switch that I was confused on before? I remember being confused about a certain switch I thought did nothing. Well, yeah. It's pretty obvious what that does. I think that's where I fought the big guy with the fists. Well, there's the war statue. Oh, and this is the end, isn't it? Okay, that, that, that works out well, then. Hmm, which is closer? But this one's closer. So I'm pretty sure the cabin was pretty close to the cave entrance. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, right, I can also, I can also, um, get the underwater stuff here now. Are there, like, two different underwater spots that I can explore, though? I might have to... Yeah, you know, actually, I'm gonna re-explore... Actually, no. Not yet. Oh, 
that's what it does. It basically allows me to like swim underwater. I was, for some reason I was thinking it would just like make it like, I was thinking it'd be like a gravity suit effect for some reason where it would just like not limit my movement in the water. Yeah, I have no idea what, like, like how much stuff might be behind those areas in the cave, so I should probably just do this for now and call it a video. Okay. Oh, this isn't the cabin. This is the cabin. Wait, what am I? I should probably save. I... do I need the axe to destroy that? to take almost exactly half your health. I think it's designed so you can basically only survive two hits from it, so I probably have to... Oh. See, I probably have to go through this entire area without touching any more of them, because I'm going to have to get touched by that ghost coming back. So I'll have to save my second hit for the trip back, and obviously I completely goofed that up. Unless there is a way to dodge it, or there's like an item that nullifies the damage or something, but if there is, I am not aware of it. Oh, okay, that wasn't too, too long. Dark armor. It's probably not as good as what I have. I wouldn't be surprised if it grants immunity to these ghost enemies, though. Or does something like that. Well, let's see what it is. Yeah. 2,000 year old cursed suit of armor. Yeah, dream armor is still better. Well then. I guess that's it for this video, so next time, see you guys back in the caves.